Hello, hello, hello! Magandang umaga! Kamusta po kayo mga kachika? Ako po si Juana! And welcome back to my channel! Okay, I'm here and I'm back again for another video. And as you can see in the title, I will be discussing the six reasons why Filipinos should not come to Australia. Hmm. Curious ka kung bakit? Then continue watching until the end. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel just yet, please, please, please click that red subscribe button below. And I like mo na rin po and please share this video. See you in a bit! make a comment based on the title of this video, I suggest that you watch the full video first. This is filmed not to belittle nor single out a country's culture, but to simply recognize the differences and uniqueness of each culture. I am a Filipino-born citizen and I love my country as well as its flaws and strengths. Aww. Therefore, I would just like to share to my fellow countrymen all the beautiful and commendable things that I have observed and experienced here in Australia. So, enjoy watching! Alright, so I'll give you a little bit of information about Australia. Australia, also known as the land down under, is the world's largest island. It has 7.6 million square kilometers and wow. it is the world's sixth largest country by total area. Australia has the lowest population in the world. Its capital is Canberra and its largest city is Sydney. I live here in Albany. I arrived here in February 2020. My main reason was to visit my partner for only a month. So I took a month off of work and flew here in Australia in February, a month before coronavirus became a pandemic. So I am glad that I did because Australia is not a bad country to be stuck in so after six months I am still here and is living together with my loving husband Aww. James who is an Australian citizen so I am now presenting to you the six reasons why Filipinos should not come to Australia this is just based on my observation and personal experience all right, so let us begin. The first reason. So the first of the reasons why Filipinos should not come to Australia is that Australia has an unforeseeable weather. So as Filipinos, we are used to the two seasons. We only have the wet or rainy season and the dry season. And uh, the Philippines is a tropical country. So Australia has four seasons and it can be very cold during the winter and it could be very very hot during the summer. Mas mainit pa po sa Pilipinas. And based on my experience since I live here in Albany, they say that um, you can experience all four seasons in one day and I have witnessed that. Kasi there are times that it would be very hot or it's, it's sunny in the morning and then eventually it will rain and then later on it will be cloudy and it will just become so 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 cold kapag umuulan dito masyadong malami and it's very unpredictable so uh, if you are the type of person who who's like me i don't really like the cold weather better be prepared maghanda ka ng magbalot ng katawan you better later and magbalot at maglayer ka ng makakapal na jacket. Um, also, if you are so conscious about your skin, 
mainit dito, sobrang mainit kapag summer. Well, according to my husband. Kasi hindi ko pa na-experience yung summer since ang summer dito, it falls on December to February. So, ang na-experience ko pa lang ay winter from June to August. So, kung isa ka sa conscious skin at ayaw mo na maiinitan, you better bring your sunscreen. Kasi sobrang mainit dito kapag summer. So, uh, for those who are planning to travel to Australia, you better be prepared. Magdala ka ng umbrella, sunscreen, at jacket all at the same time. <laughs> Just be ready. Because weather here in Australia is unpredictable. Reason number two. Australia is clean and organized. So, Australia is the country with the cleanest air in the world. Wow! And I am not saying na wag kang pumunta dito sa Australia kasi magbabasura ka lang. Hindi ganon. <laughs> I am not saying that the Philippines is dirty either. But, what I'm saying is, Australia is incomparable to the Philippines when it comes to cleanliness. Aminin na natin yan. Siyempre, masyadong malinis ang Australia talaga. Um, not all Filipinos care about the cleanliness of their surroundings and of the country. Hindi lahat tayo concerned sa kalinisan eh. Yan yung problema natin. We are only concerned about ourselves. Yung sarili nating paligid, sarili lang nating bahay. Pero yung pag nasa labas na tayo, we are so careless. Here, Australians care about cleanliness so much that they will yell at you or even chase you down the street if you throw rubbish out of your car window. Wala silang trash dito. They call it rubbish. So I was able to watch a video here in Australia about a guy na nagtapo ng basura out of their car window. Tayo mga Pilipino, sanay na sanay tayo sa ganyan eh. May makikita ka nalang bigla nalang magtatapo ng plastic or basura out of their car window. Um, dito na nangyari yan, nung napanood ko dun sa video, yung sinusundan na vehicle, naka, ano siya, naka-record yung video, and then hinabol niya yung nauunang vehicle. Alam yung ginawa niya, ibinalik niya yung basurang itinapo niya dun sa nagtapon. So, hindi nila pinapalampas yung mga ganung bagay. And that is what's good about it. They also have a good way of sorting and disposing their rubbish. You won't find even a single cigarette butt or a candy wrapper on the street. So that is the second reason. Reason number three. Australia has an organized flow of traffic. So road congestions here in Australia is nothing as compared to the flow of traffic in the Philippines. In the Philippines, we pretty much do what we please as drivers. Kinagawa natin kung ano gusto natin. Not all of the Filipinos follow the traffic rules. Aminin na natin yan. Huwag na tayong magmalinis. Totoo yan. We do whatever we want on the road. But here in Australia, slow flow of traffic can be experienced, but it is more organized and Drivers really abide by the rules and regulations of the road. Ito pa yung isa sa mga nalaman ko. No one here dares to bribe the public or the, the police officers because they will end up in jail. Kaya takot na takot sila na magbigay ng lagay. Mauuwi sila sa kulungan. Ibang iba sa Pilipinas, di ba? Another thing, oh, this is a trivia. They drive on the right side of the vehicle, but on the left side of the road, just like Japan and other Western countries. Opposite sa uh, nakasanayan natin sa Pilipinas, di ba? We drive on the left side of the vehicle, but on the right side of the road. So yeah, that's reason number three. Reason number four, why Filipinos should not come to Australia. Walang tabo sa Australia. 
cabo or a dipper is a Filipino thing. It is only in the Philippines, as they say. We um, we use a dipper and water when we clean after doing number two, diba? Right? So here in Australia, they only use toilet paper. Wala rin silang masyadong bidet. It is so amazing to know that their sewer system here in Australia is so accurate and efficient because you can flush toilet paper down their toilets. So okay lang na pagkatapos mong magpunas using the toilet paper, you can just um, throw it in the toilet and then in, 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 in for flush. But other than the toilet paper, wala nang pwedeng itapon. Sa Pilipinas, kahit ano na itatapon na lang natin. Bala kayo dyan. So that's reason number four why Filipinos should not come to Australia. Reason number five. Fast food restaurants in Australia do not serve rice. Australians do not eat as much rice as Filipinos do. This is what's unique about Filipinos. As Filipinos, we love rice. We we have it or we eat rice during um, when we have breakfast, when we eat lunch and we have when we have dinner. Puro kanin tayo, di ba? But here in Australia, you can never find rice meals in fast food restaurants like KFC or McDonald's. Wala. Um, it is also very rare that Australians would have rice for lunch or dinner. They usually have mashed potatoes, pies, or pasta. So, walang masadong kanin sa Australia. You can buy rice from the grocery or from the shop, and then ikaw mismo yung magsaing if you want rice. Reason number six. So, the last in my list is Australians have a peculiar but creative vocabulary. Although Australia is an English-speaking country, a Filipino may find it difficult to understand their choice of words, mainly because Filipino English is based on American English, while Australian English is based on British English. So, medyo malaking pagkakaiba talaga. Australians have plenty of slang and interesting shortcut terms that, as a Filipino, you may find it very difficult to understand. You may even find yourself in a very awkward situation. So, say for example, uh, if an Australian asks you, May I borrow your thongs, please? Of course, not in that accent. Kasi iba yung accent nila, hindi ko talaga Hindi ko magaya. Do not, do not. Give him or her a pair of underwear. <laughs> Thongs means flip-flops. So you should lend him or her your slippers or your flip-flops. Another example. Let's go to Makas this Arvo. Naintindihan nyo ba? Let's go to Makas there uh, this Arvo. Let's go to Makas this Arvo. This just means that you are invited to go to McDonald's this afternoon. O di ba? Actually, ako nahihirapan din ako kahit kahit yung husband ko minsan. I have to ask him to say the the sentence again. Can you say that again, please? Or I would ask for um, the meaning behind the sentence. So what do you mean? Kasi madalas hindi ko naiintindihan. Marami akong hindi pa naiintindihan. So, those are the six reasons, or that's the last of the six reasons why Filipinos should not come to Australia. Ayan, so I hope you learned something about this video. This again is mainly for the purpose of identifying the differences between the culture of the Filipinos and Australians. Hindi ko po intention na maka-offend, hindi ko rin po intention na 
mang maliit ng isa sa culture. Kung alin mang culture between the Philippines and um, Australians. I just find it interesting na marami talagang pagkakaiba. Na marami pa akong um, gustong i-discover. Marami pa akong kailangang ma-discover since I am married to an Australian now. And asahan nyo na masusundan pa tong video na to about Australian culture and its difference to our Filipino culture. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel just yet, please subscribe na po kayo. Alright, I hope you have a great day and you stay safe. Cheese!